Yo, 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 Irvin Co. Irvin Co. If you're looking for a podcast, here you go. Irvin Co. Irvin Co. If you're looking for a podcast, here you go. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Yo, what's happening? What's happening? It's Irvin, Irvin Co. I got my co host, Amanda. Say what's happening to the people, Amanda. Hello, everybody. Happy New Year. We're starting off good and fresh and new. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. Happy New Year to everybody. I say, I say, I say today, being that it's New Year, it only makes sense. I mean, it only makes sense. Everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people have those New Year's resolutions to get back on the health, on the health kick and with the Corona. They're still around. Don't get it twisted. Corona's still around. People still like there. So we wanted to get with somebody who is definitely on that health stuff right now. And she got all, she know all this good information. Uh, I've been following her page for a little while. I'm not stalking, just watching. <laughs> um, definitely paying attention to her page. Uh, she does ginger. She's the uh, owner, creator of uh, Ginger Harvest Drinks. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to getting some of those because um, I want that. They look good. They are uh, very good for you from what I can see. And I like how they got the ingredients on everything. Uh, dope. So we, we definitely want to get to know this young lady, Dasha from Ginger Harvest. How you doing today? How you doing? I'm good. I'm so excited. Um, I'm beyond excited just to, and honored to be interviewed by you two. I too have been watching you guys as well. And um, I just feel, I'm just so happy and um, honored that you guys uh, picked me to be interviewed um, to highlight the product, you know? Okay. Yeah, my pleasure. For sure. For sure. You definitely, like I told you, I've been watching for a long time. Um, and I, I just, I've been, I've been, um, it's been on my fault. I, I let uh, uh, head not head I let uh, uh, procrastination. And uh, but after today, we definitely ain't gonna procrastinate because I need some of that. Um, so I'm definitely <laughs> gonna be making my order, <laughs> making my order um, for you to pick up a delivery. I just said online for sure. Um, <laughs> see, I told you I be paying attention. I be watching. Uh, <laughs> so uh, tell me a little bit more about uh, Ginger Harvest. Like, how did you come up with that? Like, what was where did that idea come from? Okay, so Ginger Harvest, um, I want, there's something I wanted to do since I was 15, and I've always had, I've just always been obsessed with ginger, like, I love ginger, man, I don't know why, but I've always been really drawn to ginger, and um, when I was 15, I, I pitched the idea to my mom, because, you know, she she kind of, you know, she grew she groomed me in, in entrepreneurship, and just always creating and being a service to your community, you know, and I just thought it would be a good idea for me to create an, a line or a company that makes all gender-based products, you know, mm -hmm. um, and basically just me wanting to be able to provide a product that has integrity, especially when it comes to something that hasn't been, like, it's acknowledged, but then there's also a lot of people who don't understand the benefits of ginger and how healthy it is. And that there's so many things I heard in the market that says it's good for you, but it doesn't actually make you feel good, you know, and you're expecting that you're getting a product that's going to make you healthier or um, boost, boost your immune system. And little do you know, it's filled with chemicals or water, you know, I mean, I could go buy a gallon of water, bro. <laughs> you know, if I want to drink a bottle of water, I can go buy one, but they, they, it's just, it's just not there. So I really wanted to bring a product that was superior especially to our community, because I feel like it's not enough um, wholesomely made products that are professional and, and good for you, you know? So, so how, how did you learn about ginger? Um, well, you know, based off my background, my mom, she's always had us into health. And, well, my dad, I'm going to say my dad, because he was like a health freak. Like, this man be making apple sandwiches and everything. My mom used to hate it. <laughs> apple sandwiches. <laughs> this man used to make all types of things. Like, but he was the one that was really enlightened us about our health and how important it is. And when it comes to ginger, my knowledge of ginger, uh, I just always liked it. And once I, I my sister, my one of my older sisters, she supported me 100%, and she went and printed out all this information on ginger and I kept that information for years I would just go back and read it and you know I was intaking it and just seeing how it made me feel and so that's kind of how I feel confident in you know giving such a product with a root like that 
Yeah. I got you. I got you. I got you. Um, go ahead, Amanda. My fault. I'm about to take off. You, know <laughs> <laughs> um, you spoke so highly about your family. Uh, how much of your family support um, help you take off onto your business? A lot, a lot of it. Um, I would say without my sister, I probably wouldn't have been so, I would have definitely done it, but with me seeing that I had that support from somebody, because everybody didn't support it, they thought it was like a weird idea, you know, that I wanted to sell ginger products, you know, um, but I kept, I kept it alive for so many years, you know, because I really believed in that, that this can work. Mm -hmm. um, and it just took time for me to actually take that step and put my best foot forward for them to see how it can work, you know, and how people, this is something people are looking for. So um, with my family's help, I mean, is it, it just me being in an entrepreneur background, you know, my mom, she has a long history of entrepreneurship. I've never seen my mom work, you know, and that was also another thing. I wanted to do something. Yeah, no, she has always been an entrepreneur. So with that being said, I used to go vending. I used to be around a lot of um, health conscious people, even now, you know, and me having my family who's always, they're always creating things. They're always coming up with something. They're always improving on what they do. Um, just the fact that my mom has so many patents with products that she created that me having that um, image, me seeing her do that and be that and it's always been her mission just her passion to really bring good good business to our community definitely helped and then you have my siblings that were like dasha i know you can do it you know um and you know just just you know their their help was everything <laughs> it was everything i don't think i would have been as far as i am if it wasn't for them taking those steps to um bring it alive you know that's dope yes. that's dope Definitely do. Um, describe what benefits that your business brings to the community as far as like ginger, what is health benefits and stuff like that, and your product. What what benefits that, that people can see from using your, your product? So when it comes to that, I'm glad you asked that question because um, I think there is um, a bit of a, how can I say, um, it's not very known how health affects our community. Um, with ginger, you know, ginger is full of gingeroids and it's anti-inflammatory, it's antibacterial, it's good for boosting your immune system, different things like that. Um, I found a lot of, I found a few companies that make ginger made products. And their products aren't good. I'm like, I ain't trying to knock nobody, but this stuff tastes like water. <laughs> you know, and, and, it, and it doesn't really make you feel the way you should feel when you drink ginger. So mm -hmm. the purpose of Ginger Harvest is to bring into our community, the Black community, a good quality beverage that does not kill you. Okay? My juices don't have any sugar. It's sweet with honey. Um, I don't even boil my ginger. It's, it's cold pressed. So you're getting all of the benefits and everything in it. Um, the blueberries are fresh. The lemons are fresh. It's, it's a ginger lemonade. So basically this venture is to not only uplift the health of our community. I want for us to understand that to change that perspective of eating healthy is nasty or it doesn't taste good. And if something is healthy, I have to, I have to mentally prepare myself to eat this because it's going to make me feel like I got to puke. You know, <laughs> I wanted to change that narrative in our head that kind of stops us from wanting to eat healthy because I don't believe that anything should taste bad, you know? Yeah. So when I make my juices, I put a lot of love in it. I put a lot of flavor in it. And, um, whenever I do that and I have, I, I sell to my community it makes them feel good. So it's changing the mindset of what eating healthy should be or mm -hmm. having a healthy drink should be. I want to educate my community about these things that are out there because we suffer from so many illnesses and we have mm -hmm. no idea. Some of us don't even know what ginger is. Well, they hear about ginger, they know about ginger snacks, 
ginger root beer. <laughs> you know, those little things. They don't understand yeah. that even even lemon, even lemons, lemons actually help to relieve stress. It's a stress reliever. Um, blueberries are good for um, the heart and the brain. And it also helps prepare DNA cells. So every day, a few of our DNA cells, they, they're damaged from all the free radicals in the air. Blueberries actually help repair that, you know? So um, it's, it's really about bringing awareness to um, how what we put in our body really affects our minds. It affects the way we treat each other. It affects the way we live our everyday life. Um, besides that, I also do my best to employ um, people in the community who may need money-making opportunities. I allow for them to sell the juices, um, like be a vendor for me if I'm not able to, because you know I'm only one person. I can't do all of it. But mm -hmm. I do allow them that opportunity to say, hey, look, this is how much, you know, this is the percentage if you want to, you know, because I, I really don't like for our people to have to go out and work at somewhere where it's not going to benefit them generationally. You know, what I'm doing is really to help everybody's kids, everybody's future generation, you know, for them to have something they can be proud of and be like, hey, yo, this is ours, you know, and it's good and it looks good and it tastes good and everybody likes it. You know, I want to change. I want to change that, that, that perspective. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, I want to go back real quick. You were talking about your mom and you were saying how many patents she had and being an entrepreneur. Did you ever feel pressure? Like seeing, like growing up in that household and you say you never seen her actually have to work a regular job because she was an entrepreneur. Was that pressure for you and, you and maybe your siblings? Pressure, like, pressure, like how? Be a little bit more specific. Like, 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 did you feel like you had to follow in those footsteps or like you felt like, hey, if I had to work a regular job, I'd be okay. Or did you feel like, yo, I got to find something. I got to find my own niche to be able to be an entrepreneur in. Um, did we ever feel pressured? I can't really say we felt pressured, but what I will say is that our mom really projected, um, I won't really, I can't, I want to be very careful with the words that I use. I would say that she, she definitely encouraged us a lot to mm -hmm. carry on the family's legacy with the businesses. Um, and she really made us understand how important it was to do that. Um, I didn't necessarily feel pressured, but I, it was more of a motivation thing because I understood why it was important for us to have something of our own. Okay. So it, it wasn't really much of a pressure. It was just more of like a motivation to be like, Hey, you know what? I don't have to work for anybody. It was a lot of motivation. It was a lot of my mind just opens like psh, so many things that I can do because I, I've seen my mom do it and, and just understanding that there's services that people need. And if you can offer that service that you can make money off of it, you know? Um, so I wouldn't say a pressure, but definitely a lot of motivation from seeing that growing up in a household like that. that makes, is that something you try to instill in your children as well? Yes. Yes, definitely. Cause I, I, I don't like, I don't like, I got, I had one job and I'm still at that one job. Okay. And it fits me. And after I leave there, I don't want to go to another job. So I don't want for my children to grow up and have to feel like they have to go out and work for somebody. I want for them to be able to work in my businesses, to work in our business. And if they want to start something new, I'm 100% supporting them, you know, because there's always room for me for improvement, you know? Yeah. That's dope. That's dope. All right, one last question before I let I run about the number. You kind of alluded a little bit, but I want to make sure. Uh, when you talk to people about your ginger product, do you feel like you have to convince them about the benefits or when you tell them, they're like, oh yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm on board like right away. The second one, I, I definitely don't feel like I have to convince anyone. Um, I definitely, yeah, it, cause the products speak for themselves. You know, mm -hmm. I, I do my best. If they ask for information, I definitely give it to them because I know people are unaware of the benefits of what they're intaking. Um, but I just let them taste it and let them be the judge of it. <laughs> hey, that's the best way to do it. You know, the product speaks for itself. So no, I don't, I mean, I don't never feel like I have to convince anyone. And that's one thing I try, always try to avoid. Um, growing up when I used to sell our veggie cloth, um, you know, of course, when typically when you're younger, you usually have nicer skin. Me, I've always, I mean, it's getting as nice as it used to be. But when I was younger, I always had nice skin. That's because my mom always used natural products. And when I would go out and sell these products at different markets, 
I would always, um, people thought it was just because I was young because, or because I had to sell the product. And it really wasn't because of that. It's really because I used it. I was using it and I was speaking from experience. So I always like to speak based off experience. That way I don't have to feel like I'm trying to convince someone of the benefits of the product or how good the product is. So I like for it to be something that, um, that is genuine. So I, yeah, no, I don't, I don't definitely don't feel like that. Okay. That's what's up. Go ahead, Amanda. My apologies. So, um, what is the best part in running ginger harvest? The best part of running ginger harvest, I would definitely say networking, <laughs> meeting people. Um, oh, and hearing, um, testimonials. Mm. about the product that right there is everything man like when i when i have a customer and they come back and they tell me man you know i was on the energy drink and i started drinking your juice and it, and it took me off it i'll be like oh my goodness I'm so happy to hear that. <laughs> because it's like i know that what i'm doing is good and it's helping people that's yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the best feeling in the world is to hear that you're changing somebody's life that that yeah, feeling okay. is 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 not like no I never knew that feeling until I started to get people call me back and be like man I need some more of that because it helped me with this I was detoxing and it gave me energy and I was so tired and I was having head it's it's like when I hear that that's that's for me that's the top one you know that's the top me being able to change people's lives that's that is the best part of of me running Ginger Harvest. That's dope. That's dope. Like that's real. Like that that that. Just hearing you explain it like that, that yeah. feels like an amazing feeling. Yes. I'm happy to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's nice. Go ahead, Amanda. You got one more. My next one is, what do you define as success for you or for um, Ginger Harvest? Let me scratch that question out. <laughs> <laughs> got him. Can you ask that question again? Because I, di I didn't hear the last part. Oh, I said, what do you define as success, for, um, meaning for you or Ginger Harvest? What do I define as success? Yeah, what, um, what, would be, what would you consider success? I would consider success when I have impacted a million people with my juices and I've changed the health of a million people with my drinks. Um, I would definitely define it as success. Even honestly, even if it's a hundred people, as long as I'm changing somebody's life, I would consider that as success. Knowing that, like I said, knowing that it's is doing good. You know, when I got a mm -hmm. hundred people, a hundred thousand, one million, just the fact that I'm changing somebody's life, that's the real success for me. Knowing that I'm doing a good deed. That's yep. amazing. Well, now, I see you got a, a couple different flavors. Now, I know, yes. you know, I don't want to put you on the spot, but do you have a favorite? Like you got, if you had to pick one, which one is your favorite of all? Why you did that? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> let me see. Um, I would have to say... The blueberry. Blueberry. So that's the one I, I like because I, first. yeah, I the blueberry. The blueberry first. is really good. Yeah. Okay. Now, now, not saying that there's a, a bad one, but which one you be like, yo, it's six of them sitting here. That's the last one I'm gonna drink. Um. I don't know. I can't answer that. <laughs> so that means all good. You asked so a lot of hard good. questions. That means they all good. That means they all good. Ain't no question with that. That means you got so, all good products. Say There's it again. No least that means you have all good products. There's no least favorite. Yeah, all of them are good. And honestly, it's just based off your taste buds because I have people who don't like the blueberry, but they love the mango. They don't like the mango, but they love the original green tea ginger. And some people prefer that, you know? So um, all of them are good. All of them make you feel good. I would just say like with the different, like with the ones that has added berries and, and fruit in it, it may, um, it'll, it'll like for the flavor wise, it's good. 
too. And also health wise, it may have a different effect on your body, you know? Um, other than that, I mean, yeah, every, everything is good to me. I got you. How do you come up with your, um, with your different flavors? Um, did we lose it? Dasha. Dasha. I probably, she probably got a call. She probably got a call. We'll hold tight. So, if you haven't already, subscribe to Irving Co. Irving Co. If you're looking for a podcast, here you go. Check us out on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you listen to podcasts. And make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get all of them alerts as soon as they come out, for sure. And hit us up on our Instagram. Um, follow us on Irv.and.co. Irv.and.co. Dot pod there you on go. Instagram. So make sure you check us out. Uh, so you can be aware of everything that we got going on for sure. All right. Um, yeah, that was that was that's some. She dropped me some real good information about the ginger man. Um, I'm very. I definitely. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to uh, getting my order in because um, I, I procrastinate long enough. And again, it's 2021. No more procrastination. <laughs> Thank you. No more procrastination. I want to so. try the blueberry that she was talking about. That's that does. The, all of them look good. Like I was looking at, at her page and the, the the there's a ginger with green tea. I think it was green tea. Mm-hmm. Yo, I like green tea, so um but I what that the mango? The mango though? I don't know. It's some a, a nice like taken straight out of the freezer. Like that's I'm 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 trying to um I'm definitely gonna try that for sure. Probably buy like a a, a pack and uh, be able to try them all out. Support Most your definitely. businesses. Have you supported sure. your local business today? <laughs> I knew that was coming. Have you supported an artist today? And there you go. Have you supported an artist today? Oh, we must plug this in. Must. It's a. It's What's a up? Must. What's up? January seventeenth. January seventeenth, yo. January seventeenth. January seventeenth. January seventeenth. The pop up, and so pop up, January seventeenth, MLK weekend, January seventeenth at the Class Cafe, from one to five with an open mic right after. Man, we got some super super dope vendors. Um, we're excited. We got a we got a hot DJ on the ones and twos. The ones playing some good, playing some good music for y'all to vibe through, for y'all to spend them coins while y'all in there. Um, definitely make sure y'all come through support these dope vendors that we got coming through, it's too many names um, so I'm only going I'm, I'm going to give you a couple just so you know you know, you know so we got, we got, we got all these pound cakes all so these. you can get that cake but before you get the cake you got to get that twisted salad oh the twisted salad then you got, you got beauty here by Kira you got accessories Ooh. over there. Then we, oh, oh, you know, I got my hair. So we got, we got jungle oil. We got jungle, jungle oil, oil in there. Uh, who else we got? Whoa, oh, the face. We got Ty over at Sensational Faces. Yo, but for real though, who y'all need to check out? After y'all done cop all from all of them, y'all need to go to Am Soul. Y'all need to go buy a pop. Y'all need to go cop a painting and tell the herb sent you because, listen, she got some dope art over there. If you want, you want, get an art box. Get that art get box. Get an art box. Art box. Yo. Hello. Yo, and she be having these mystery. Oh, what's up? What's up? Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome. I don't know what happened. <laughs> no I was pressure, just talking no to things and just <laughs> no pressure, no pressure. No I mean, pressure, it could have been because no I know I'm in a I'm in an office building, so it, sometimes the reception is a little, you know, wanky. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. We happy to have you back. Um, so you were telling us about um, the flavors, and uh, I was asking you, how do you come up with them? Okay, well, I just kind of put things together in my head or what could possibly, and then it's a little experiment. But I guess I'm going to tell you with the flavors that I have right now, those came about from um, actually from my mom. She used to make us juice. So she used to make like juice for us. Okay. 
at a certain point. And um, we used to just put like the blueberry in there with the ginger and stuff like that. And when I, when I started to go back to school and everything, I didn't really have time to actually test out all of my flavors. So I was like, you know what? Let's just put the ones, let's just put the ones we already got in bottle one. <laughs> you know, the ones that we already make for ourselves and we tested it out and people like them. So th- those mm-hmm. three flavors are mainly how those came about. Um, okay. So far, the other ones, which will be dropping this year. Ooh, um, okay. I got about, <laughs> I got <laughs> working on two new flavors. Um, one of them, one of them, well, three. So the raspberry, we're going to have raspberry ginger, green tea lemonade. That one. Ooh, that's what I seen. That's what I seen. I seen that. You posted that. I'm like, I want that. That one I right there that. is my favorite. I would say that one my favorite next to the blueberry. Because I haven't put it, I haven't put the, you know, I haven't put that out on the market yet, you know. But that raspberry, um, basically we let the bat- raspberries ripen to a certain point and we froze them so we can mm. capture the seeds. Mm. And when I mean to tell you, them things are so sweet. I've never tasted anything mm. like raspberry juice that was as sweet as that, like naturally. Yeah. Mm. It's something else. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got to get that. <laughs> I got to get that. I got to get that. I yeah, that, that. One, that was the hit. That one right there. So it'll be raspberry, um, ginger, cucumber flavor. That we'll be hitting that one out soon, and then um, possibly a ginger mango. I mean, not ginger mango, ginger orange. But I'm a little, you know, okay. I'm still kind of playing with that flavor. But those, now how I came up with those, I just kind of like try to see what flavors could jive with the ginger. And based on that, then I just kind of experiment with it. And then if it comes out good, then, you know, we bottle it. Okay. That sounds, yo, know, that sounds amazing. Like, um, I, you got a fan, you got a fan in me for sure. Cause <laughs> I'm definitely excited to check these out. Um, well, since you're talking about that, um, what is considered healthy for you? Like in your definition, what's healthy? What's considered healthy? Like you mean, like what is considered a healthy food or a healthy people? Yeah, or- yeah, yeah. Like mm-hmm. healthy food, like like because every like you said, there's so many different things that are branded as healthy. But then, like you say, when you read the 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 uh, ingredients, it's it's either so much water or it's just having this GMO stuff. Like, what's what do you consider healthy? So what I consider healthy is anything that has, for one, something that doesn't have hard to read ingredients. Um, one of the things I've always avoided as well, you know, growing up, we, I wasn't really allowed to eat cause I've never ate pork in my life. I don't eat seafood. You know, that's just in my culture It's kind of like considered unclean animals. So we don't really eat it, but there was an ingredient called MSG, which is, which they tell you is something else, but it's really, um, mostly a pork byproduct. And I, so I don't eat anything with MSG in it. So if it has MSG, red 40, um, blue coloring the yellow coloring if it has phosphate or some extra hard certain things i just won't ingest um so i try to look for things that have the most simplest ingredients in it okay. um anything okay. that starts with sugar first uh-uh. <laughs> anything that says sugar first is mostly sugar so that's how you would know if something has a high sugar content, it, it will be listed as the first ingredient. And I listen, mm-hmm. now I, I'm not saying that I've always eaten healthy because I had a soft spot for some little Debbie cakes and my mom ain't know I was eating those. She only no. thought that. <laughs> no. the she didn't know I was eating oh. them. But I, I used to bust down some uh, some brownies, <laughs> some nutty bars, some stuff. Boy, I can name them all. <laughs> but um, I learned, though, through this experience, I used to have pre cramps so terrible that when I was in my teen years, I, I they were so bad that some days I couldn't even walk. I was just like mm. fetal. But once I changed my diet and I got off of all that sugar, I've, I haven't had any issues since. And... Yeah. Um, at a certain point, maybe like within the past few years, after me having my kids and everything, I did kind of indulge in it and I felt those same issues coming back. So I was like, it definitely has to be all of that sugar, bleached flour. Um, bleached flour is not good for you. Um, let me see. Anything with, um, what they say, if it says unbleached flour, usually that's like wheat. It's usually considered wheat. 
anything with bleach flour in it is not good. Anything with white refined sugar isn't good. Um, so always look for things that have, you could do cane sugar, coconut sugar, honey, agave. Those are the things I try to stick to, <laughs> you know, because it's, it's, it, it has an effect on your body, you know. Um, is it hard? Is it hard to stick to that though? Like, do you do you have weak moments? It, it <laughs> do I? Lord knows, I'll be <laughs> I'll be over here praying. I'll be like, God, please not today. <laughs> it is hard. The reason why though, and I sp I'm speaking for everybody, eating unhealthy is so convenient. It's super convenient. Yes, it's and that's the thing. And you know what I'm talking about. It's it's so convenient mm -hmm. for me to just go to a dollar store or to even go inside of Publix and that's cheaper or that's the quickest thing that I can get compared to me yeah. having to go to Whole Foods or Trader Joe's mm -hmm. and get something that's healthier. It's so convenient. It's so convenient. Yeah. And I understand why people have such a hard time, especially when you're on the go, you're working, you're going to school, you end up eating a bunch of fast food is because it's there. It's it's there. It's the quickest thing. And it's, it's not all the time that you can actually home make your food you know and it's cheaper you know, too make your food at home it's you know, because too. so they have it's easier for them to mass produce unhealthy gmo made products than for them to keep healthy food as an option you know and, and that's also another goal of ginger harvest is for me to be able to make healthy intake uh convenient you know because if it's convenient then more people will buy more people will eat healthy because it's there they'd be like oh you know what i really wanted this but this was closer you know, or they had this for cheaper or, you know, so it's just yeah. being able to make it convenient is something that's there at arm's reach for people to feel like, you know what, I'm going to just get it because it's there. Because that's exactly what most of us do anyway. You're like, oh, I was in the store. You know, I, I got it, you know. Yeah. So it is yeah. hard now. Whew. Uh, yeah, I, I, I totally, trust me, I ain't the fat vegan for no reason. I mean, that's sugar. <laughs> <laughs> that's sugar. That's sugar right there, I'm trying to tell you. Uh, but uh, go ahead, Amanda. I'm sorry. I, I was about. To, I feel like I was taking. I was taking. I was just going with it. So, um, <laughs> what do you recommend for someone who's never tried juices before? What do I recommend? Who has never tried my juices, or who has never tried healthy juices? Healthy juices. That is a good question. I would say, I would recommend, um, I, would make, I, would, I would recommend them, I, would, I can tell you what I don't recommend. I don't recommend buying honest tea, okay? Things like that. Mm. <laughs> what I mean by that yeah. is because yeah. it, it tastes like water um, and, it, and it can discourage you. Things, things like the mainstream of products, yeah. it, it, it says it should be healthier, but I would say stay mm -hmm. away from things that could possibly be bitter. Um, things that it may say, oh, with honey, most of the time it don't have no honey in it. Mm. Um, <clears throat> try going local, like a local vendor like myself. Um, I have a friend named, uh, a, a friend who owns a company named Juice for Your Soul. Um, another woman, her name is uh, Juice Defined. I've never met her, but I, I, you know, I follow her on Instagram. You have um, even a Coconut Grove Market, they sell healthy juices. You know, those are locally made handcrafted products that actually taste good. So I would say if you're going to try something, if you want to try a healthy juice, um, I would say stay away from mainstream pro products. That's what I really meant by that. You know, okay. um, don't really go for things that's publicized and everything like that because it's mass produced and it has to be watered down. And this I know because I had a person who wanted to sell our juices and he recommended that we water down our things to get more product out of it. And we just couldn't do that. So wow. I know this for a fact, you know, it's not just something a hitch or whatever like that. So, um, that's why I was recommend just try local vendors, you know, do taste tests, see what you like, um, find out the different types of, especially when you're eating healthy juice, most juice comes from fruits, um, or teas. So look for things that you think you would like. Um, make sure it has honey in it or agave. Don't try to get anything that you're like, oh, it doesn't have any sweetener. Um, or if you're going to do somebody that has cold pressed juices, um, just taste test. Cause I mean, juice to find and juice for your soul. They have, they put no type of sweetener in there and the stuff tastes like candy. So I would say just look for somebody local, you know, to try start mm -hmm. 
uh, to try something new. Mm-hmm. That's dope. That's dope. That's and, definitely some good, some good, 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 good suggestion. Yes, definitely. Especially if you want to get right for 2021. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing that yeah. I have is um, what are some misconceptions that you would like to debunk? Like, so far as what? As far as like um, juices, what, what, what do you come, come across when it comes to like, oh, it's not real juices. You're not using real juice. And you'll be like, no, we're actually using real juice. Technically. Misconceptions. Okay, I get you. Um, <clears throat> that real juice isn't sweet. <laughs> That you can't get uh, that real juice shouldn't shouldn't taste this sweet. Um, that it should not be this this thin. It should not taste this good. That it doesn't taste good. Those are the main things I've heard. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I have a friend named Juice for Your Soul, and her juices. I honestly, when I first taste her juices, y'all, that they had me dancing. It had me dancing. And I mean, I was dancing. <laughs> Every time I would open up that juice in front of her, she would just bust out laughing because I'll be just dancing. <laughs> and because I, she's mastered the art of like picking the fruit or, or juicing them when it's the right time for them to taste sweet. So mm-hmm. when I, so they say, oh, if it's juiced, it doesn't taste good. No, like it can taste good. You just got to get the right people that know how to make it. So I would like yeah. to eat that, that, that it don't taste good because you got some things out there that be hot. <laughs> That's for sure. That's for if you can sure. make um grapefruit like sweet and edible or for me, I would drink it all the time. Hey, listen, listen, uh juice for your soul, she makes a grapefruit lover juice. Oh. Top of the line. It's it's amazing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. I wouldn't say That's that grapefruit, I mean I can I can try it with the ginger. Um, but I also use, um, I don't really know how to, how it'll work with the honey. So I'll kind of have to do a little taste testing, but I would definitely try it out. And if you want, you could be my taste tester. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So, um, I know. All right. So now we, we definitely happy to be in 2021 we know 2020 was interesting a little hard for everybody with you know with COVID and everything do you feel like your business uh the COVID motivated you with your business or you think COVID might have hurt your business no um well you know I I was I've been doing my business since 2019 Mm -hmm. um well I've actually started bottling it in 2019 but before then we were already doing it but I would say hope COVID, I'm about to say COVID, oh my gosh, COVID. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that COVID actually helped my business um, because everybody's worried about their health. Um, mm-hmm. And then everybody's also concerned about if the products they're getting are actually going to be good for them. Um, and ginger has become, there's been a lot more spotlight on ginger and lemon and green tea and stuff like that. And it's, it's helped, it's definitely helped. It's, it's helped me be able to spread the word more. Um, mm-hmm. It centralized a little bit more of our community's income in, you know, at our, and in, in our, in my, you know, in our circle, you know, people who really needed that, you know, it, it's definitely helped. It's helped a lot. Honestly, I can definitely say that came out of 2020. That's good. That's, that's, I was thinking that I was thinking, I was like, yeah, I figured like a lot of people probably look into you a lot more because of like your, your, the benefits of ginger, um, yes. and the juicing, the juicing as juicing aspect of it, um, mm-hmm. where it's definitely a lot, a lot more digestible <laughs> when it, oh, takes, yes. it has a definite, you know, ginger is definitely a, is good for you, but if you take it raw, like my wife is trying to make me do, that is rough. <laughs> ginger. rough. That's not something I'll say. You ain't no such thing as ginger shots, okay? Not no straight up. I, I, trust me, I, I am not a fan, but I do do it. So I mean, I would say, yeah, ginger is definitely not something I would. I, me personally, and I love ginger, but I just know I respect it too. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 
sure. Yeah, I know your limits now. Sure. This is like, listen, I'm <laughs> with me now. I will tell you. <laughs> For sure. So, so tell me this. If, if you had the opportunity to get your bottles in the hands of a celebrity that never had it before, what celebrity would you try to get your, your, your uh, ginger harvest bottles in the hands of? Any celebrity you, you could get it in, who would it be? Man, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me see. I would have to say, I don't know. Nobody's coming to mind right now. Okay. I would say I maybe that's the my- I would say that's P. P. Okay. Okay. Lyric, that's a good. That's P. Maybe Trick Daddy. The reason why is because um, I know that they're more supportive of black businesses from what mm-hmm. I see. And I would want it to be where um, somebody would actually take interest in the juice. Mm-hmm. Um, so those would be the two people I would say because I, you know, got to be a little bit realistic, you know, and really considering that. Um, somebody who would just kind of acknowledge it a little, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I was, I was like, I, when I when I was getting the questions, yeah, I was like, yo, I, I'm, I'm gonna say, she probably gonna say Oprah. I figured Oprah like the biggest thinking, person. Beyonce. That I, Beyonce? Oprah, yeah, Oprah. Yeah, I mean, Oprah would be because she's very popular. She's very famous, you know. Um, I didn't even think about Oprah to be honest. I didn't. Well, Amanda said Beyonce. Hey, listen, I low key in my head, <laughs> I, my head, I didn't say Beyonce, but I said, you know what? Let me, but you know what? So the thing is, well, since we can dream on here, let me go ahead and just say it now. You know, Beyonce, you know, <laughs> JC, hey. maybe Kanye, I don't know. <laughs> hey, from, from your mouth to God's ears, you never know, right. you know what I mean? Manifestation, so, yeah. yeah, manifestation. Yeah, put it out there. Definitely no, I definitely. Out there. I ain't gonna lie though. It's funny that you asked because uh, a few weeks ago I was just thinking, I was like, dang, you know what? It'd be real nice, you know, if Beyonce could just taste my deuces. You know, maybe she'll like it. <laughs> <laughs> For real? But no, no, no. Not no, maybe she'll like it. You mean when she tastes she it and like, she likes when it. When she tastes it, definitely. she'll like it. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. definitely. Definitely. So, Amanda, you got a game that we want to play with, uh, with Dasha. Um, myth, myth, or is it Mythbuster, correct? Mythbusters! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> let's, hit, let's hit it with some Mythbuster real quick. So, um, Mythbusters is like a game that, that you try to debunk stuff. So basically, okay. I'm going to say a statement. You would say if it's a myth or not. And if it's okay. a myth, you explain why it's a myth. Okay. Or you debunk it. Right? Okay. Awesome. So cool. Um, the first one that I have is you need only eight glasses of wa- of water a day. Mm. Only eight glasses. Oh, that's tough. Uh, I would say I would say it's a myth. Tis a myth. Any kinds of liquid is considered um, hydrating for you. So making sure that you have um, eight um, glasses, fluid ounces um, of a liquid is good for you. It is good, but yeah, because I was thinking in my head, like somebody who's really active would disperse more liquid than just, you know, I was, that's kind of like what I was thinking in my head. So maybe I overthink it a little bit, but. <laughs> 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 yes, my next one is ginger is good for the for stomach ache only. No, that's a myth. Ginger yeah. is good for a lot of things. <laughs> tell the people, tell the people, ginger is good for a lot of things. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, another one that I have is drinking juices in the morning helps with losing weight. Is, I don't know uh, 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 an option. Definitely. <laughs> yes, definitely. definitely. Yeah, I'm, I can't really. I, I don't know. 
I, I can't really say. I that's that hasn't been proven in my life, so I, I wouldn't know. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 real quick, when, when, like, when is a good time to have your juices and your suggestions? Honestly, I would say the morning, um, because morning. it gives your body a boost. It does. Um, yeah, definitely the morning. Um, it's kind of mm-hmm. like a filler with your, um, especially if you get the ones with the berries in it. Even, even just any one of them, it, it kind of feels, um, makes you feel a little full, even mm-hmm. though it's not like you're actually eating, but it just kind of boosts your metabolism. For you to eat, you know, especially if you're not a morning eater, you know. So I would say the morning. All right, all right. So I know when I'll be taking mine. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Carry on. That I have is carbohydrates are fat. Carbohydrates. All carbohydrates are fat. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. One. To the myth fact is carbohydrates are is what your body needs to function well you just got to get the right kind of carbohydrates yeah definitely too much is not good i I mean too much of anything is definitely not good yeah (laughs) yeah i mean it's kind of like i mean not all but i mean i'm pretty sure that's necessary for the body's function but yeah yeah. Yeah. that's a myth that's a myth. <laughs> for sure, for sure, for sure. And I got, I got, I got one more game for you. We call it major or minor, and why. So okay. what I do is, I'm gonna ask you a couple of things. It might be a, a word. It might be a, a little, a couple words. Just you tell me if this is major to you or if it's minor to you, and you tell me why. Okay. All right. Okay. So. Ginger harvest, is that major or minor to you? <laughs> major. <laughs> <laughs> and why is that? Why is ginger harvest major to you? Because it's it's about it's like life changing, changing the world, like generational wealth, healthy eating. Like it's about changing changing society. <laughs> okay. Good answer, totally. good answer. Good answer. So uh the next one is Family support, major or minor? Oh, major. Absolutely. Major? And why is that? Why is that? Um, because it affects um your progress, it affects your mental health, it affects your motivation. Um, and sometimes when you don't have it, it can take you longer to really do things for yourself when you feel like mm-hmm. the people you most care about don't care about you. So family support is definitely major. Okay. Um, making money is that major or minor, and why? Major. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna say why, but I think I know why. So. <laughs> All right. Look, making money is major because, unfortunately, in this world, you can't do nothing without money. Yeah. That's <laughs> so making that's money is major. I can't help nobody if I if if I can't. If I ain't got the funds, you know, it's yeah, major. You gotta, you gotta yeah, have money to eat, to live. I mean, mm-hmm. unless you was, you know, out in the mountains and everything was provided for you, you know. But other than that, yeah. major making money is major. It's major. Definitely. All right. Um, helping the community. Major. Major or minor? Major, major. and why is that? Because your community. Um, your community is based off of the society you create. And if you do not help or promote your community and change your community and still good things in it, um, you're going to end up not having one. So community mm. um, outreach is, is, is very major. It's like essential. Okay. Yeah. And then my last one, being healthy, is that major or minor and why? Major, because if you're not healthy, you're going to be sick all the time <laughs> or in mm. pain. That's real. That's real. That's, I think I feel like a lot of people feel like now. I've I've had to learn if I was if I showed you what I looked like ten years ago, I was definitely not the same person. Um, but I feel like uh, it's either you eat healthy now and pay for it with the exercise and eating better, or you pay for it later with the prescription pills or being in the hospital. Or it's like you in pain, like you say. So I definitely yeah. agree with you on that one. With uh. Being healthy is definitely a major thing. 
Yeah, so, absolutely. Um, Amanda, before we uh, before I, before I uh, ask her for her social media handle so she can let, let the people know how they can find her and how they can get these juices she just told her told us about. You got any other questions for her before we get to that? One final question. So what is an obstacle that you would like to conquer this year of 2021? An obstacle in, gener in, in general? Mm -hmm. Procrastination. <laughs> That's a big obstacle. Welcome to my Welcome to my world. <laughs> <laughs> that procrastination. It, like that procrastination is a is a killer, man. Um, I think sometimes though, I'm a I'm a I'm I can speak for many people that I know. Um, procrastination sometimes comes with overthinking, um, and wanting to have something so perfect when you do it, and it's like it's not all about always having things perfect when you initially start because nobody started off perfect, you know. Um, I think it has a lot to do with fear of not being accepted with what you're doing or being rejected or even just sometimes thinking that we can put it off for tomorrow. And even with that, I, I, I just think the, some people just like me, it's, I had to learn you got to respect time. Time ain't waiting on nobody. 2020 was six months. It wasn't even 12. Okay. <laughs> and if you do something now, you know, do it now and make it happen. And even if there are other obstacles in your way, always understand where there's a will, there's a way never make a big deal out of something even if it is a big deal just don't psych yourself out with overthinking that oh this this can't work oh i don't have this i don't have that like just look at what can you do when you look at what can you do many things are possible even if you don't have anything even if you're lacking something just look at what can you do or even with sometimes procrastinating like reminders and stuff like that just create a system that would enable you to be more proactive you know, like I have to use my calendar, like today, like, honestly, I almost forgot about the, about, about this podcast because I was just so wrapped up with everything that I had going on in my life. And because this was so important to me, I was like, no, I have to do it. So I set a reminder on my phone. I reached out, you know, I asked for the zoom information, and everything, and that helped me. So when it really, like, you have to prioritize, you know, is it important to you or is it not? You know, if it's not important to you, you're just going to let it sit and, and go, you know, or you're going to be like, oh, yeah, it was important, but da 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 Like, no, procrastination is the killer, okay? Because it's, it's wasting time, you're giving away your time, and you're not going to get it back. That's one thing you ain't going to never get back, you know? So, yeah. yeah. So I'm just really happy that, um, you know, you know, nobody procrastinated. <laughs> <laughs> <First podcast. laughs> for sure, for sure, for sure. Now we we appreciate you taking the time. I have my last question too: is where do you see yourself? What does Dasha and Ginger Harvest see themselves in the next five years or so? Global, baby. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, okay. Let's go okay. international. Listen, what global. You say? Global, 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 global. Everywhere. That's the whole like, globe. We're everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're everywhere. Why not? Everywhere. Period. You already know. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. I, I definitely, I definitely can see that. Like you got that personality. You seem like you got that drive for sure, for sure. And the um, and I'm, about, I'm, I'm about to try this juicy. I'm about to get the juice. Hey, so when I hang up. Hey, just just hit me up and um, I make them fresh every week you know so okay. you just let me know what flavors you want and i'll go ahead and put them together and when they're ready i'll you know i'll text you or whatever i can deliver i do deliveries too so you know if you're too busy or you may live far i'll you know take that extra leap and be like let me just bring them because i know the next time you're gonna be coming to get them because you're gonna want them so oh, for sure. oh for sure. that's what i'm talking talk that talk talk that talk you know what i'm saying so i would we're, we're preach we definitely, definitely, definitely appreciate you for taking the time to sit down with us and explaining your business, getting to know you a little bit more. Um, let the people know how they can find you and how they can get some of these amazing juices that you got. All right. So um, you guys can find me on Instagram and Facebook. I know I don't know many people use Facebook, but I do. Okay. <laughs> um, you can find me at Ginger Harvest. It's just the word G I N G E R H A R V E S T. Um, every Wednesday at w as well, there's a new event starting this week um, called Vibe Wednesdays at Muse. You will find a lot of different activities there. 
Um, so if anybody's familiar with Muse, um, we'll have an event every Wednesday. Um, you can find Ginger Harvest there. You can come by typically in the morning. Um, and then also we have a spot on 16th and 22nd. So if you ever want to stop by, um, just pre-order, you know, just let us know ahead of time and we'll go ahead and prepare the juices for you. That, that's like a permanent pickup spot. Okay. Um, and then also once you go to our Instagram, you'll see our, we have a website as well where you can pre-order the juices. Um, so you can use the website or if you want to just DM me, you can do that. So, cause maybe you just want to pay through cash app or something like that, you know, I'll accommodate yeah. that as well. So. Um, if y'all don't mind, can I just say one more thing before we head out? Most, most, def most definitely. Most okay, definitely. Okay. Um, I want to, you know, thank, I really thank you guys for um, taking interest in interviewing me. Um, I really appreciate it a lot. I love what y'all, what you all are doing. Um, we definitely need something like this in our community that's highlighting small businesses like myself um, to bring awareness to what's out there and that we really are trying, you know. Um, I don't think I would have known of as many businesses if I hadn't been watching you guys do what you do and the fact that you guys do it so well and it's so professional and, and you guys are really kind and you know you you ask so many questions that make you think you know and it's, it's I really appreciate you guys for what you do <laughs> so you know <laughs> appreciate you we definitely appreciate you absolutely I definitely appreciate the compliment for sure thank you um, so much Samantha it was a pleasure speaking with you I enjoyed the games and everything so Oh, no, most definitely, most definitely. Uh, before we get out, we always leave with a quote. Um, and our quote for the day is, if you think you can't, oh, I butchered up that fast. <laughs> uh, the quote for the day is, let's take two. Uh, if you think you can, you can. If you think you can't, you're right. And basically, if you put your mind to it that you can do it, you definitely can. If you put your mind to it that you can't, you can't. So it's all mind over matter for sure. Um, and that quote was by Mary K. Ash. So we appreciate everybody for tuning in. We appreciate our amazing guest, Dasha. Um, go check out her Ginger Harvest drink. I'm about to do that. Um, y'all go check her out. Um, and support, support, support. This is a new year. Y'all talking about y'all want to get healthy. It's the way to do it. So go check her out. Uh, Earn Co. Urban Co. If you're looking for a podcast, there you go. Urban Co. Urban Co. If you're looking for a podcast, go check out Ginger Harvest. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> y'all be safe and we'll see y'all on the next one. For sure. Thank you so much.